This one is very important, so I need everybody to listen up. This is how to prevent and to treat a blowout. So what a blowout essentially is, is scar tissue getting pushed out the back of your ear because there's too much pressure or you stretched way too quick. We talked about stretching times being two to six months, six weeks at the very minimum, um, but some people don't listen and they do it really quick or their ears actually just can't handle the size that they're trying to go to at that moment. So what happens is ear, like scar tissue and extra ear skin, it gets pushed out the back and if you leave it long enough, you'll permanently have a little like bump or a bigger ear and it looks really bad. Um, so how to prevent that is stretching times, Make sure that your ear is healthy when you stretch next. That is the biggest, the biggest thing. And two, if you do start getting a blowout, immediately downsize at least a size. So if you're at an inch like I am and you get a blowout at an inch, you want to go down to, I would say about seven eighths, which is the next size that you commonly find at your stores. Drop down a size, recover your ear, and then try again in the other two to six months like a regular stretching time. If your ear still has a lot of built up pressure and it feels like it's gonna pop and you know the blowout's not going away, you're gonna to have to take care of it every day with the stuff that I've talked about and you would have to drop size again. Sometimes in very, very, very bad situations, you'll have to take them out all together and then start wherever your ear wants to start again. I've went from one inch to about nine sixteenths before. So with that, take care of your ears. Please stretch responsibly and safely. And from body J for you to you, have a good one.